In this video, we will discuss example 5C which is last example under L'Hopital rule. Okay. Find limit x to infinity, learn x the power of 1 over x. This example you can refer from page 24 in chapter 2 in your handout. Okay. This example is under type 5, infinity the power of 0. Okay. Because when we substitute infinity into variable x here, so we have ln infinity. And ln infinity equals to infinity. And then 1 over x now we replace by infinity. And 1 over infinity is just like, let's say we have 1 divided by any big value. So, we'll approach to 0. So, the answer when we substitute x equals to infinity into whatever x into this question we have infinity the power of zero and this is in determinate form okay so we can evaluate limit for indeterminate form using L'Hopital rules but first step we need to reduce to type 1 0 over 0 or type 2 infinity over infinity which is in the form of fraction but now we have indeterminate power okay so first step what we need to do is okay we let y equals to the function in limit okay our function is ln x the power of 1 over x so we let y equals to ln x the power of 1 over x okay and after that, we taking natural logarithm on both side. Okay, so we put ln on both side here. Okay. Okay, for right hand side, okay, we can use properties of logarithm log a m the power of p equals to p log a m. Okay, to change into the form of multiplication operation because now is power separation okay okay after that we can move power 1 over x to the front okay using properties of logarithm log a m the power of p we can move p to the front so we have p log a m okay here so now we have multiplication function and after that, we need to turn to fraction, okay, to write into the form of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So, we can write ln ln x over x here, okay. So, now this is fraction, single fraction. So, every time when we have in terms of single fraction, we can evaluate limit. So, after this, we can taking limit on both sides, okay? The given question is limit x to infinity. So, both sides, we need to taking limit x to infinity, okay? We just put limit x to infinity to both sides, okay? Okay, from the previous slide, we have limit x to infinity ln y equals to limit x to infinity ln ln x over x. Okay. What we do is, we put limit on both sides. Okay. The given question is limit x to infinity. So, we need to put limit x to infinity for the both sides. Okay. And then from here, Okay, from left hand side, there is no variable x okay, to substitute the value of x equals to infinity. So, the answer is still ln y. Okay. So, it means that when we solve limit x to infinity ln y, the answer is ln y. Okay. In right hand side, okay, when we... Substitute infinity into variable x here. So, we have ln infinity over infinity. So, this is under type 2. So, now, we success to reduce from power indeterminate okay, into the form of 
tied to infinity over infinity. So from here, we can use L'Hopital rule. Okay. When we apply L'Hopital rule, we need to differentiate numerator and denominator. Okay. So now, we solve, after we solve limit x to infinity, ln y, we have ln y. Okay. And then from right hand side, we need to apply L'Hopital rule. Okay. When we differentiate ln ln x, we have 1 over x, 1 over ln x here, and then times, we differentiate the function inside ln. The function inside ln is ln x. So when we differentiate ln x, it becomes 1 over x here. Okay? And then we differentiate denominator. We differentiate x equals to 1. Okay? And after that, we simplify this fraction. So, we have ln y equals to limit x to infinity 1 over x ln x. Okay. From here, we can try to use direct substitution. So, when we substitute infinity into 1 over x here, so we have 1 over infinity. So, means that no more in terms of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So, we can use direct substitution, okay, in this stage, okay. Okay, 1 over infinity is 0. So, we have ln y equals to 0. Okay, from the previous slide, we have ln y equals to 0, okay. So, after that, we need to write y as a subject, okay. So, when we move ln, to right hand side, so we have y equals to e to the power of 0. Yeah, when we move ln to right hand side, it becomes exponential function. Okay. Okay, and then when we solve e to the power of 0, e, as e is an Euler number, which is 2.018 something. Okay, the power of 0 will become 1. Okay. And then what we do is we need to replace y equals to ln x to the power of 1 over x here. Where we get this? Remember from step 1, okay? We let y equals to ln x to the power of 1 over x. Okay, ln x to the power of 1 over x is actually from the given function in limits, okay? Okay, so we replace back here. And after that, we're taking limit on both sides to get back the original question. Because the original question, we have in terms of limit here. Okay. So now, we only have ln x, the power of 1 over x. We only have the function. So, to write exactly to the given question, so we need to put limit x to infinity for the both sides. So, when we put limit x to infinity on the both sides, so we have limit x to infinity ln x to the power of 1 over x equals to limit x to infinity 1. Okay. And then from here, after we solve, okay, we have the answer 1. Okay. And then we can check the final answer using symbol lab. Okay, limit x to infinity ln x to the power of 1 over x. After we press enter or we click go, so the final answer gives 1. Okay, got it? Coming up next, improper integrals under chapter 2. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.